At the recent World of Concrete 2020 show in Las Vegas, Hilti introduced what it is calling the world's first cordless breaker. Hey everyone, I'm Wayne Grayson. Welcome into Equipment World, where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks. In today's video, we'll be giving you all the details on the new Hilti TE500-A36, a tool that makes you more mobile while doing demolition work and also includes a cordless dust collection solution. Let's get into it. As the name suggests, the TE500-A36 is powered by a 36 volt battery, and it includes Hilti's active vibration reduction system, which reduces vibration on the tool by up to 30%. Now, while it is cordless, it does weigh in at about 17.4 pounds, but it includes an ergonomic D handle on the port side that helps keep the operator comfortable and in control of the tool. This breaker hits with about 5.8 foot-pounds of impact energy and can deliver about 3,300 impacts per minute using SDS Max type bits and chisels. The breaker can also be run in one of two power modes, full power and reduced power. Now, full power is, of course, for those heavy-duty demolition applications that need the entire strength of this breaker. But for brick layers and tile layers, for instance, this tool can be placed in reduced power mode, which is perfect for those applications where you're either trying not to damage something in the background or you're trying to salvage the material that you're removing. One nice design feature on this new cordless breaker is that the D handle, the chuck, and the dust shroud are all the same as Hilti's corded models, which means that you won't have to go out and buy all new accessories just to use it. Now, one new feature on the TE500-A36 that Hilti says a lot of contractors notice right off the bat is its new power button. Now, to avoid the annoyance of showing up to the job site, opening up your tool bag, and finding that one of the other tools in your bag or something else in there has depressed the trigger on this breaker and run out all of the battery before you even start your day, this breaker actually has a power switch that must be pressed for the trigger to activate. Once this power button is pressed, the breaker stays awake for about two minutes, which should give you plenty of time to do the task at hand, maybe switch positions, put the tool down, pick it back up, and keep working. Now, once those two minutes are up, the machine powers back down, and the power button must be pressed again for that trigger to be activated. Now, speaking of switching positions, the breaker also features a lock-on switch, which allows you to essentially keep the trigger depressed without holding the trigger, allowing you to switch positions or work for a long period of time without having to keep that trigger depressed. But what about dust collection? What about Table 1 OSHA compliance? Since it wouldn't be quite right to make you use this awesome new cordless breaker with a corded vacuum system, Hilti has introduced a new cordless backpack vacuum that you can use in tandem with the TE500-A36. Hilti says this backpack dust collector makes this package the first fully cordless Table 1 OSHA compliant breaker system on the market. Now, in addition to the usual moil points and chisels, Hilti also offers a selection of clay spades, chipping tools, and ground rod drivers for the TE500-A36. Now, of course, on the maintenance side, Hilti offers its incredible 22-in-1 warranty. Now that's a 20 year limited warranty, a two year coverage on wear and tear, and a one day repair turnaround. And one nice new feature on this cordless breaker that ties into that 22 in one warranty is this small wrench indicator. Now when that lights up, the tool is essentially letting you know that something's going wrong and this tool needs to be maintenance. But when you see it light up, it means that it's got about a full day's worth of work left in it before it needs attention. So when it lights up, you do have the 24 hours worth of work. You don't immediately have to stop work or find another tool. You just have a 24 hour kind of warning there that you need to send the tool in for maintenance. And then according to Hilti, once you send it in, it should be returned in about 24 hours. So you'll have your tool and you're ready to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here on the Hilti TE500-A36. Let us know what you think of this tool in the comments below. We always love to hear your thoughts. And as always, thank you so much for watching Equipment World. We really appreciate your time. If you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, do us a favor and hit that like button below. It helps us out a lot. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, hit the subscribe button below and be sure to turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.